How can you become a great self-taught system administrator? That's what we're going to talk about in today's video. And before we begin, this video is sponsored by Classpert, a free online search engine for online courses. Make sure you guys check out the link in the description below and stay tuned towards the end of the video where we talk about this a little bit more. If you're looking to become a system administrator and you want to be self-taught, it's easily achievable in many ways. Now I say easy because you can do it on your own, but it's not as easy as it could sound to some people. Now to become a great system administrator, the first thing that I'm going to tell you that you need to be very aware of and keep an eye out on and definitely learn is automation. So anything that can help you automate your job as a system administrator, that's going to be a key thing to learn. So, so the first thing we're going to talk about with windows system administration is learning PowerShell. PowerShell is so huge when it comes to being a system administrator. There's so much that you could do with it to help automate your job that really system administrators across the world are using this on a day-to-day -day basis to help them complete their tasks and really do things very efficiently and effectively. And it can be one of the best things to learn as a sysadmin to be great. So make sure you guys learn PowerShell. If you're a Linux system administrator or looking to become a great Linux system administrator, definitely learning something like Python and Bash. Even as a Windows system administrator, I would still suggest learning Python as well, but PowerShell definitely takes the ropes there. If you are a cross-platform system administrator, meaning you're servicing Linux and Windows machines, definitely Python is going to be extremely beneficial for you. But any type of automation is really the key that I want you guys to take away from this. Learning how to automate everything. So learning how to automate your backups, learning how to automate your checks for uh, different updates, learning how to automate your Active Directory user creations and things like that. That's, those are simple things. Now the next thing I'm going to tell you guys to learn to become a great sysadmin is learning the cloud. There's Google Cloud Platform, there's Azure, there's AWS. Great cloud platforms. Pick one and run with it because what you want to do here is just understand the concepts of how the cloud works, how it functions, how you can actually set up the cloud on your own. You can sign up for a free AWS account. I even think there's free Azure accounts out there that you can obtain, it might be for a limited time, but you can sign up for these for free and start learning them. And it's going to be greatly beneficial for you, whether you are in an environment that supports the cloud, or most likely maybe you're not in an environment that has anything cloud related yet, understanding and the fundamentals of how this the whole cloud process works is going to be greatly helpful for you in becoming a great sys admin. You may not utilize the cloud in very many ways, but just understanding how this process works, because as you guys have seen over the last few years, the cloud has grown and it's really grown exponentially where many services are now migrating to the cloud. So make sure you guys understand at least the fundamentals of cloud services and how they operate and work. And finally, the last bit of advice that I could tell you to become a great sys admin is to build a home lab. And I've said this so many times, it hurts me to say it again, but it's so true. When you're becoming a sys admin or wanting to become a sys admin and you wanna be really good at your job, having your own home lab where you can tinker all night, all day, is going to be so beneficial for you. In many ways, you can even mimic an environment that you've been in, and that way it kind of puts things more into perspective. And when you start doing things like this and actually building your own home lab, building your own home network, it can greatly help your process and learning because you can start piecing things together and how they work and relate that to real world experiences. And that's one of the best ways to learn. So building a home lab in so many ways is going to be one of the best steps that you could take to become a great sys admin. So I think these are three really good tips that I've given you. And now I'm looking to you guys in the comments, Leave what tips you have for others who want to become great sys admins because this is a community and we rely on this community to help each other out. So please leave your comments below. And if you guys are looking for online courses to help you achieve your goal of becoming a great sys admin, make sure you guys go over to classpert.com. Link is in the description below. You can search thousands of online courses 
related to any topic that you could possibly think of, and especially when it comes to IT. And they're gonna list on there everything that they have available for you to go out and take. And they have free courses, they have really cheap courses that you can go and take, but it really does list off just about every single online course that's available for you to take and really help achieve your goals of becoming a great IT professional. So I hope that helps you guys out. Visit that link in the description below. Leave your comments. If you have any other suggestions or comments, concerns, leave them below and that's it. Make sure you guys join the Discord because we wanna make a big community of fellow IT professionals and enthusiasts to help each other out. Link is in the description below for that as well. That's all we got in today's video. As always, take it easy.